Good afternoon, everybody. This is Chris Haynes coming to you on this Tuesday, May the 19th. Hope that you are having a wonderful day. Uh, just a quick reminder that if you would like to offer your thanks to Connor Folks, uh, one thing that we are doing is putting together a string of tribute videos, thank you videos, and to offer your own video of thanks to Connor that will be combined with the videos of others, we invite you to go to tribute.co slash Connor hyphen folks. That link is in this posting on Facebook and YouTube, so you can just click on that and that will take you right to where you need to go. It's very easy to do. It'll just take you a few minutes to record and upload and that will be part of our gift to Connor at the end of this month. So we appreciate everyone who's taking time to do that. You can also send us, send me pictures of Connor that will be used in a worship video later in the month, or you can send him a card, a note of thanks to our church address. Also remember to make sure and join Connor and myself this Wednesday night at 6 p.m. for our Methodism 101 Bible study. We'll be looking at early American Methodist history and some interesting stories from that part of our history. As we get ready to hear some scripture today, I would remind all of us that May is observed as National Mental Health Awareness Month. And I think that's important, especially at times like this. Uh, God intends for all of us to be whole spiritually and emotionally and mentally and physically. And so that mental aspect is something that very often we as Christian folks don't give proper attention to. But uh, especially during these days when many folks are still more isolated than they normally would be, uh, take time to sort of do a self-check for yourself, and also just check in with other folks that you know are spending more time than usual by themselves, and make sure that they are getting the support and the love that they need to be mentally healthy during this period. And I bring that up just because the passage I'm reading for us today from Luke chapter 8 uh, reminds me of the importance of mental health. Uh, one of the ways this story gets interpreted today is uh, just the, as Jesus being the one who puts us back in our right mind uh, when something goes wrong and we are taken away from that place of mental wholeness. So let me read for you Luke chapter 8, verses 26 to 39. Then they arrived at the country of the Gerasenes, which is opposite Galilee. As Jesus stepped out on land... A man of the city who had demons met him. For a long time he had worn no clothes, and he did not live in a house, but in the tombs. When he saw Jesus, he fell down before him and shouted at the top of his voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I beg you, do not torment me. For Jesus had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man. For many times it had seized him. He was kept under guard and bound with chains and shackles, but he would break the bonds and be driven by the demon into the wilds. Jesus then asked him, What is your name? He said, Legion, for many demons had entered him. They begged him not to order them to go back into the abyss. Now there on the hillside, a large herd of swine was feeding, and the demons begged Jesus to let them enter these. So he gave them permission. Then the demons came out of the man and entered the swine, and the herd rushed down the steep bank into the lake and was drowned. When the swine herds saw what had happened, they ran off and told it in the city and in the country. Then people came out to see what had happened. And when they came to Jesus, they found the man from whom the demons had gone, sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. 
Those who had seen it told them how the one who had been possessed by demons had been healed. Then all of the people of the surrounding country of the Gerasenes asked Jesus to leave them, for they were seized with great fear. So he got into the boat and returned. The man from whom the demons had gone begged that he might be with them. But Jesus sent him away, saying, Return to your home and declare how much God has done for you. So he went away, proclaiming throughout the city how much Jesus had done for him. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. As we enter into a time of prayer, we do pray for all those who are dealing with those kinds of struggles that they may find a place where they are once again sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed and in their right minds. We also pray for those who have requested our prayers as a congregation. Those include Danny Skates, Denny Richardson, Tom Riney, Bonnie Mathis, Kim Hatchett, Pat Todd, Porter Bunch, Susan Brownyard, who is having surgery today at Baptist East Hospital in Memphis, Taylor McDaniel, and Tyler Puckett. As we lift up these and all of those who are on our hearts, let us go to God in prayer. O God, Holy Spirit, come to us and come among us. Come as the wind and cleanse us. Come as the fire and burn. Come as the dew and refresh. Convict, convert, and consecrate many hearts and lives to our great good and to your greater glory. All this we ask for Jesus Christ's sake. Together today, we pray for the people of our congregation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who suffer and those in trouble, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For medical professionals and other essential workers in our health care system, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For business owners and employees as they face challenges at their workplaces, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our government leaders, national, state, and local, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the church universal, its leaders, its members, and its mission, Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. We pray for the entire communion of all the saints. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We join together and are bold to pray using the words that Jesus taught his first disciples, praying together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. God bless you today. I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday, and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Take care. Peace be with you.